Hi, my name is Itesh and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. Now before we jump dive into the SQL Injection, first we need to clear up what are the security misconceptions in the SQL Injection or maybe the web development. Because these misconceptions are actually responsible in order to create these vulnerable websites. So let's take a look at each of them. The very first SQL injection misconception is the firewall protects my websites or web server and the database as well. Now to be very honest, if you are talking about SQL injection, access to the server through port 80 or port 443 makes the web server as a part of your external perimeter defense as well. And also, if you talk about the vulnerabilities, the vulnerabilities in the web server softwares or web application may allow the access to internal network resources. To be very honest, the firewall is actually not a permanent solution for these types of SQL injection or rather correctly, it is not at all a solution. If we talk later on the IDS and IPS, that is intrusion detection system or intrusion protection system, we have got a misconcept that these are the responsible for protecting my web server and database. And if you think more deeply about the IDS, the IDS is configured to detect the signature of various well-known attacks. Now, you cannot configure an IDS for the SQL queries. And to be honestly, you can uh, make a configuration for some of the queries, but for all, it is not at all possible. Also, attack signature do not include those for attack against the custom design application or custom attacks as well. So to be honest, IDS is not again a solution for all of our SQL injection problem. And lastly, and the most importantly, there is a concept is that says SSL secures my site. So SSL is actually the secure that transport of data between web server and the user browser. So SSL is just encrypting the intermediate traffic that is being traveling from the database to the browser. And SSL does not protect against the attack against the server and application based. SSL is not at all an application based security for the SQL injection. Honestly, I think that SSL is the hacker's best friend due to the false sense of security. Now by all means, I don't say that these are just a waste of money and time to implement these kinds of security. These protect these three concepts that I have talked just around protects you from a variety of attacks, but doesn't protect you from the SQL injection. You need to be more versatile in your security to actually get protected from the SQL injection. And in this course, you are going to find all of that concepts. Now let's talk about the SQL injection, how these things work. First of all, we have got a custom code and whenever an attacker sends and contain SQL fragments by browser or any other thing, you can simply say that uh, what happens actually, the attacker sends some custom SQL fragments that can run on your custom code. Now this custom code is being tricked and eventually the attacker sends modify query to get the database and queries of from the database are being returned with some adequate, uh, you can say user ID, password or some table name maybe. So finally the attacker views the unauthorized data via these kinds of queries like uh, it can pass the select star from table name where ID is equals to something, something and something. So uh, this is actually the basics about how an SQL injection works out and how this false sense of security is going out there. So SQL injection cannot be protected from the firewalls, the IDS, or maybe SSL. You need to be very precise while writing out your code. The mistakes in the codes actually are responsible for the SQL injection. So be aware of what kind of code can be tricked and how you can evade the SQL injection. So in this course, let's check out what we can do to stop the SQL injection and what are those badly written codes which we can find out around. So let's conclude this session with this, that it is flaw in a web application development and not at all a database or web server problem. So whether you work on a, it's not like blaming on a particular language that PHP is a bad language or .NET is a bad language or Java maybe is a bad language. The SQL injection can be found in all of these languages or maybe none of these. So most programmers are still not aware about this problem and that's the major reason why anyone can dump out your database and some valuable information from your database. And rather uh, the worst scenario, a lots of tutorial and demo templates which you are finding around over the internet are vulnerable to this. And even worse, 
a lot of solutions posted on the internet are not at all a good resource to get updated. And in my pen test personally, I found that 60% of the clients are actually SQL vulnerable. Now this is a good news for all the pen tests that your eyes might get lit up that yes, uh, this is going to be great payoff since every client is vulnerable to it. So uh, let's proceed on this, how to protect this SQL injection and how you can actually intrude into the various website again, just for the pen testing purpose. So that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching.